Welcome traceable designers. Today I'll show you an easy way to hang the arched corner style valance using a one inch metal curtain rod. Typically this valance is hung using a two and a half inch wide pocket curtain rod, but we're going to make fasteners so that we can hang that using the one inch rod. You will need to begin by making your side panels and adjust your side panel rod pocket to a two inch size. Once your side panels are complete, you can determine the depth of your center panel, keeping in mind that we will be folding this panel over the rod and creating fasteners. So we need an additional four inches above the rod, which determines the panel length. So position your design form over your side panel to decide your proper positioning. For this example, we're making an 11 inch long panel with the four extra inches is a 15 inch size depth or 15 inch deep panel. The fusible fabric backing included in your package is 17 inches wide, so we're going to cut an 18 inch long piece of fabric by the width of your, your center panel, making sure it's wide enough to accommodate tracing, and then follow the instructions for adding the fusible backing and the lining. The lining will extend past all edges, covering all of the glue. If you are planning to make a panel that hangs a little bit longer below the lower curve, or the second curve, make sure you add that depth before tracing your panel. So now fold your fabric section in half with the lining side facing out and pin to secure. Since we're making a custom sized panel, we want to make sure we stay inside where the lining is securely fused to the fabric and then I'm going to measure up my 15 inches so that I make sure that I stay inside of the fused fabric from top to bottom. So this is going to be a little bit different than the typical tracing. The first thing we're going to do is measure up the 15 inches. If yours is longer, of course, it would be a, a, a taller piece. And then I'm going to align the design form along the folded fabric edge. I'm doing this to straighten out the top cut line. So even though I'm not making a large panel, I'm making sure the design form is aligned with the fold and then I'm positioning that across my mark. So in my case, the top mark there indicates the 15 inch height. So then you can trace across the top edge of the panel so that it's nice and straight. Then just pull out your tape measure, measure down from your top line to your desired length, minus 15 inches and then that is going to be the positioning for the lower edge of the design form. If you are doing a wide or a, a more narrow custom width, you'll mark your fabric off to the right. In my case, I'm using the small sizing line, so I'm positioning that, positioning that on the fold and sliding my design form down to my mark. Then I'm going to trace from my top line that is my new height line around the right side of the design form underneath and finishing at the folded fabric edge. This will create a 15 inch deep panel. Then just carefully follow the trace line around your panel and across the top to cut out your new adjusted long center panel. So as you can see we have an extra deep panel. We're going to be folding at the 4 inch mark uh, to create the 11 inch long panel. So now I'm just going to do a little double check. I position my center panel where I'd like it to fall and then make sure that it is still four inches that I'd like for my fold over the top. This is going to be where I fold the fabric to attach my fasteners. Then just measure down and mark your fabric so that it's even when you fold across and has the proper placement. Then just run an iron across the fold to make sure you can clearly see the crease. To determine the proper placement for your fasteners, hang your side panels, push them against the wall, and then position your center panel over your side panels. Then you'll measure from around the return. You can pin where it meets the center panel so that you know the proper placement. Then remove the side panels and position them on the table. Then once you have that in place, you'll be able to flip it over and then you can see between where the side panels will fall. This will be where we will position our fastener. So pull out your Velcro from your package. This is sticky back Velcro, but we will be attaching these fasteners using sections of heat and bond. So you have the hard and soft side of the Velcro. So we'll cut pieces that are about two to two and a half inches long. We'll position them across the inside section between the side panels. So you'll cut the fasteners and you'll cut the heat and bond sections. I'm going to use three of them across the center of my panel here. Then just position your Velcro sections underneath the flap. Remember when that folds over it's going to catch and you want to make sure that if you are off a little bit on your positioning you'll be able to adjust that panel. So I leave that extended a little bit in case I need to pull it over a little bit further or a little bit less. 
then just fuse your positioned fusible backing and then we're going to do the horizontal sections so those form a T and will catch when folded over the rod. So once I have all of my heat and bond positioned and fused once the paper is cooled I'll peel that paper back and then just stick the velcro to those sections so that will hold long term otherwise if you don't use the heat and bond it will pull right off the lining so you won't be able to uh, separate the panel without actually removing the velcro fasteners if you have a considerable amount of overlap onto your side panel once you've hung your valance if you discover you need a little extra fastener go ahead and add one to the side panel and to the upper section of your center panel to hold that nice and secure a couple additional tips. Use drapery fabric or medium weight cotton fabric. Avoid lightweight fabrics or heavy upholstery fabric for best results. Also to avoid wavy panels, try to keep your panel size under 44 inches wide. If you're hanging multiple panels, use a rod pocket center panel connector for much better stability. Stay tuned for more great tips from Traceable Designer.